Well, you just come in from your heat. What do you think? Just rode a bull for eight laps. Just rode a bull for eight laps. That thing was reared up like a bucking bronco. I thought I was gonna flip it. I, it felt like I flipped it about three or four times. But it, I mean, it was fun. Like whenever it reared up. Yeah. It was hard to drive. It was. It was a little snug, but the track just so aggressive and so rough. Yeah. You finished second. That I figured that'll probably put you. I'd say tenth or so in passing points. I don't know. They still running heat races. The track's not really bad rough. It's just hammered down, and they can't really get the top rolled, rolled in. Though yeah. uh, it's gonna be hard to pass on. Me, probably just miss race. Yeah. Good job. Talon Willis Racing. All right, they, they locked in the uh, top eight in passing points. And we were nine, so Talon didn't make the show during the heat, so he'll start cold on the first beat. Uh, they out there working on it now, trying to free it up a little bit. It's just just too snug right now, especially to try to race in. Uh, but anyway, we're gone. Chad's getting it better. Uh, they're probably taking, if there was eight, uh, three, they're probably taking four out of each B if I had to guess. Brandy, did it say how many they were taking out of each B? Probably four. That'll be 12 with eight. Top four. Start pole taking top four. So just got to go finish. First B starting pole, taking the top four. Mommy's in the B. Woo! That ain't good. Go. I know. <laughs> but we're gonna if we're he gonna win, if he wins it, he'll start ninth. If he runs second, probably start maybe thirteenth or something. Then so every four spots. But anyway, hopefully he can go out there and get it done. I tried to free the car up a little bit. We'll see.
above, picked yeah, up the yeah. B main wind. What you think? Good. Car was better? A lot better. A lot better. That track's still aggressive, ain't it? Yeah, very. Uh, we'll let them catch up with y'all after a while. What's up? We uh, just finished the B main. We started pole, finished pole. I mean, finished first. Uh, started ninth for the feature. Car was a lot better. Uh, track's kind of slinging off in the middle, but it's a big old cushion right in the center of the track. So it's probably going to be hard to pass unless they do some track work, which I don't think they are. But uh, everybody's on the same racetrack, so we're going to uh, maybe make a few changes and uh, I might try some different lines and try to go where they ain't and uh, try to pull off a win from nine. But uh, the main thing is just finish and uh, keep the car in one piece. That's it's gonna be hard to do that. I ain't gonna lie, but uh, it's gonna. I figure it'd be a lot of race, but uh, luckily we're starting pretty uh, up front in the field, so uh, uh, that'd be a good thing. But, uh, fixing go out for the feature what's the plan sir what's the plan for the feature uh, they're good go where they ain't yeah survive survive all right good luck brandy getting his own kill
closed by the time this race is done. They are already closed. Anyway, who cares? We're back on our way to the green flag this time. Getting a little tired and delirious. We're back on our way off of four. Greasy with a good restart to the outside of Mirrorhead. He'll take second. And he'll send his crosshairs to the back deck lid of the number 23 for the race lead. Here comes the Marshall Missile. Oh, boy. Look at Talon Willis up to fourth now in the 955 car. As Tupper still leads. Greasy with the bottle that time through three and four. Gregsby had a really good run going here the night we honored his father, West Gregsby, at the West Gregsby Memorial. But got it a little too hot in turns three and four, ended his night. He has got a rocket ship tonight, however. Down the back straightaway, calling the top five cars right now underneath Grandma's quilt. And here comes 69 for the race lead up the turn number four. Tupper's got company in the form of Gregsby, and here comes Talon Willis. He'll take third from your head. Willis may have the fastest car on the racetrack. Oh, my. Chad Comer set it up on dig once again. Look, look, Here comes oh, the no. He's going to take me, and he's going to oh, get clobbered no. by Jay. As a fast racetrack, things happen fast. And we, and that's being not pretty. The entire field. Folks, if I've ever said that you got a Walmart tar- parking lot, I've lied every other time. That is really and truly a Walmart in a Target parking lot over there in turn number three. Oh, my i tell you what, the 14-year-old Talon Willis, Talon Willis was coming on strong, and he just got a little bit too much mustard as he drove it off into three and four and just slightly tapped the tail of the 69 of Grigsby, and Grigsby tried his best to corral it, and unfortunately, that got messy over there in turn number three. Yeah, I think Talon thought Derek was going to go to the middle like he did last time by and was going to try to squeeze to his outside. Look, let's and, just uh, face it. This is really exciting. Oh, yeah. Whenever, oh, if they can get fast, it together. A fast racetrack, you got to oh. make fast decisions. Hate to see Talon pulling off the speedway. Yeah, well, you know, that that's a product of, you know, white-knuckle racing out here on this abrasive surface. I mean, you'll get that on these big jobs. It's. Uh, uh, I, I'd rather these guys send it than, you know, oh, no, well, he's drive it. around. And he sent it right around, into the know. rear bumper they're, of they're the They're giving 69. us stuff to talk about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. This is the Southern Nationals, baby. Go. Well, ended our night. I hadn't even asked Talon. I think he just pulled off whenever uh, he spun Grigsby. It was just wide open, hard knock racing. And uh, just everybody on the mat. Talon got in too hard and got in the back of Grigsby. And uh, I guess it. Talon, you just decided to pull off? Yeah. yeah. I, it was. I would not want to go to the back in that race. What'd you think? The car was good. The track Started was good. ninth up to third. I think you just that lap before found where you needed to be. Yeah, I was I was a little snug for the top of the beginning, so I was kind of searching around the bottom just seeing what was the best for down there and kind of found a little groove and then I thought I kind of I was my game plan was to get up, kind of let them fan out in front of me and uh just try to get over to like fourth or fifth and then hit the uh a little bit harder and uh we did what we did what i wanted to and i just well chad worked on it all night got it got better and better i think your car was it was real good to beat yeah and then it was good a bit better you had got above that cushion on that yeah man that last that last lap, lap. I, I think i was the fast call on track that last lap yeah well it was good i think you had to i think you had a car to compete for the win but i think so too didn't make it got in hot got that's in just hot. yeah i mean Everybody running as hard as they can. I thought oh, I was gonna. I thought I was gonna have a fast reaction time, which I felt like it was pretty fast. But I guess I'll have to work on that. Yeah. All right, we'll catch up after a while. What's happening? It is Sunday morning. I guess y'all know what that means. Sideline Sunday. I'm gonna keep it kind of short and sweet because. I like our videos to only be between 20 and 30 minutes because I feel like if they're any longer than 30 minutes, they get too long. But I don't think it's with Friday night raining out. I don't think it's going to be enough footage for uh, two 20-minute videos. But anyway, we out here on the track. I don't know if you can see. Try to show y'all. It's a mud hole out there, but I don't know if you can see how aggressive this cushion is I 
I mean, it's a big old cushion. And it was hard on some cars last night. Uh, anyway, Friday night rained out, so complete show Saturday. This was the USRA Southern National. So anybody that was, or everybody that was anybody was here. Uh, points racing, the national champ was here. Uh, <clears throat> Talon and the, sec the other little guy running for the rookie of the year was here. Uh, got to meet them, they were cool. I hadn't seen anything. I think Talon should have wrapped up the national rookie of the year in the limited. But uh, let's see, heat race started fourth, ran second, uh, 41, 42 cars. That put him, he didn't, they locked in the top eight in passing point. He, he was not in the top eight, he was ninth. So that put him pole in the, uh, <clears throat> pole in the first B. He won that feature, started ninth. It was straight survival mode for the whole race, really. Uh, like I say, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk about it too much just to keep time down, but uh, he finally made it up to third, I believe, on the last restart, or his last restart, and he was, he was cowboy up for sure. Uh, you had to be wide open at all times if you was gonna run the top. See, the way they was running it, most people was like, if you can see from the cushion down, and then if you wanted to run the cushion, it was just too aggressive. So you had to get above the cushion. And he was up there above the cushion and it's just, over there it's just choppy, choppy, choppy and wide open. But Anyway, he got the second, uh, Tupper was leading it, Grigsby was, no, he got the third. Tupper was leading it, Grigsby was second, Talon was third. And down there in turn three on that end, uh, he thought Talon had a, a head of steam rolling down the back stretch. And he thought that Grigsby was gonna turn and go in the middle again like he had did the lap before and he just misjudged it wide open and he just kissed the back bumper of Grigsby and got him crossed up, got Talon crossed up and it was a roadblock from there and a lot of tore up race cars. Uh, Talon feels bad just because, I mean, he, he don't really feel bad for the contact just because it's just, hard knock racing. I mean, wide open, it's just a slight misjudgment. He just feels bad for the cars that got tore up and got took out of the race, but that's part of it. Uh, anyway, didn't finish, he pulled off. Tupper won it, uh, but that's about it. That's probably gonna, I'm, I'm thinking that's gonna be close to wrapping up our, our season. Uh, I don't know of anything else on the books right now. Basketball, high school basketball starting. Uh, but I'll, I'll probably put out another video this week and, and kind of let y'all know what the plans are the rest of the year. Like I say, I'm just trying to keep this video short and sweet, but we're fixing to go get ready to head back to Elizabeth, Louisiana. So thanks for watching. Uh, it's been an up and down year. Mo it was all up at the beginning of the year and then pretty much been all down at the end of the year, but that's just the way it goes. Uh, learned a lot tore up a lot won a lot just he got to experience everything there is to experience in racing this year that's for sure but anyway we'll uh we'll catch up with y'all later